What's going on YouTube? Pistol Pete here. Uh, today I'm going to do finally do the test and review on the Nomad Field Knife that I picked up from the uh, Long Beach Blade Show. So uh, I'll go, I'm going to go over the specs again with on this a little bit, just a short, just briefly. I went over it on, on the, the video I did on the, on the Blade Show review at the very end. I did a little bit of a review on this, uh, just going over some specs, but I'll go over it a little bit again. Um, awesome awesome rig awesome get up i love it so the blade itself is the splatter this is the splatter edition um this one's sk the sk85 steel it has a uh six and a half inch cutting edge it's about a little under 13 inches overall length modified tanto point it's uh saber ground and uh g10 handles waffling and the g10 handles almost a quarter inch thick a little under things like 0.23 inch thick blade I mean, awesome thick blade uh the ergonomics of this are awesome i mean they, they tell us has a awesome for chopping awesome for chopping came with the lanyard also with the uh, kydex sheath fits absolutely perfect beautiful beautiful and again, this is Work Tough. Work Tough knife designed by Zeke Minacho. Uh, I finally uh, got to meet him. He's an awesome dude, great guy, down to earth, humble dude, smart. He came up with this design and it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. All right, so uh, let's get started with some testing. Okay, let's start with the bottle cut test. It is sharp. Work tough sharp. Yeah. I think it's a razor. All right. All right, we're at the door now. Uh, gonna test out the edge here and the chopping capabilities. See how it uh, feels going through the this wood door. All right. Easy, easy, and I like the way it feels going down on the wooden door here. I mean, it's that that frontward okay flick. You could tell you're getting some good bites. Put a nice crater there. All right, let's check out the edge. Okay, let's see here. Flawless, I don't see any damage at all to that. Nothing right here. Still sharper than ever. Razor sharp. I don't see any folding or chipping, warping. Man, that's some good steel. All right, let's move on. All right, let's do uh, some drop test here and uh, some uh, throw it at the log, see how uh, the tip holds up and uh, how balanced it is. About four foot up. Yeah, that's pretty balanced. One more time. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's pretty balanced. <laughs> All right, let's do a hard downward throw. Ooh, took a chunk out. Check this out. It hit and took a big old chunk out of there. Let's try it again. There we go. Yeah, one more time. Yeah, there we go. Boing, 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 boing. Let's check out that tip. <clears throat> yep, no, no bending, no folding, still straight as an arrow. Now that's pretty, pretty thick tip though, so it's gonna be hard, especially with this heat treat and the quality of this steel. I don't see any damage, this getting damaged at all. But no, it looks, looks great. 
No edge damage, tip, pointier than ever. We're, uh, we're still good to go. Let's move on. Okay, now we're gonna take it to the rope here and see, uh, try to do a push cut first and then do some other cuts. See how this, uh, how sharp this blade is, which I already know, it's a razor. <laughs> All right, let's see here, push cut. Easy, easy. All right, should do one saw. Butter, man, right through it. Quick chop. <laughs> uh, this okay, thing's now let's uh, do some uh, wood processing. See how easy it chops through this uh, little branch here. Man, it's that, I'm telling you, the momentum going down like that, man, it's awesome design, that little flick, or even you want to get back here and choke up a little bit on the back and... Easy work. Let's move on. Now let's see how fast I can get through this old two by four here. Very comfortable grip, very comfortable, easy chopper for as little as it is, it's still a great chopper, great chopper. Okay, now let's see how it does with a little bit of feather sticking here. Man, light work of it. Woo. This is old dried wood too. It's not fresh, but it's still making acrylic cues out of it though. Check that out. All right, let's try to make a, a tip for, you know, camp spikes, tent spikes, defensive spike. There you go. Okay, that wraps up my review on the Nomad Field Knife uh, by Work Tough Knives. 100% uh, winner, 100% winner. Love the knife. I mean, the ergonomics of it, the handle's super comfortable. That G10 with that waffling, I mean, you get good grip. I mean, you didn't really have to use the lanyard. I guess you could, but um, I mean, it's awesome awesome knife that uh the edge held up perfect um even the the finish on this that that uh splatter finish no rubbing off nothing it looks just like i did before I just once i clean it i think once i wipe it down a little bit of uh staining from the wood but other than that man i love this knife i love it you know uh definitely recommend work tough um i would i'm definitely going to get more work tough uh products and uh, did try different knives and things. I mean, they, they definitely make quality. Definitely quality. You know, and uh, you pay for what you get. You know, it's not, not on the cheaper side. But, man, it's not too pricey either. It's right in that sweet spot where you're getting every penny worth out of the blade. And, man, it's just a, just a beautiful, beautiful knife. Um, yeah, I mean, nothing more to say about it. Awesome design. Great materials. 
and uh, held up great. No edge damage, tip flawless. Um, yeah, yeah, this one's definitely one of my favorites now. All right, YouTube, please like and subscribe, and until next knife.